Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture with accredited laboratory. In the previous lecture, I have explained how to calculate LOD and LOQ. Today's lecture will be around recovery and how to ensure the accuracy of your method by repeatability and reproducibility and including the range of interest or range of concentrations expected to be measured by your method. Recovery used to assess the efficiency of the methods under repeatability conditions. And as I explained before in quality control samples that you have quality control samples will be run with every batch as required by ISO IEC 17025-2017 edition. From these quality control samples, we have spike sample. Spike sample should be prepared with every batch, with every batch, and it will be prepared through the whole extraction steps. It will take all extraction steps like the routine samples to ensure the efficiency of the method to get accurate and reliable results. This spike sample used to calculate the recovery. How can you do this? As example, if you spike the sample with 20 BBB, you have two gram sample in your method and you want to spike 20 BBB on this sample. So 20 BBB multiplied to two gram sample from any concentration you will select as a spiking standard. I selected one BPM spiking standard. So 20 BBB multiplied to two gram from one ppm spiking standard you want to spike 40 microliter so you want to spike 40 microliter from one ppm standard of your target analyte on two gram sample to get at the end 20 bbb concentration then you will run this sample with your routine samples and you will get the result so recovery will be equal to the found result or practical result divided by the true value or theoretical result multiplied to 100. If you get as example 18 BBB for this sample, so 18 BBB divided by 20 multiplied to 100 will be 90 percentage. And how can you sh be sure that this result is accepted? Recovery, as I mentioned before, should be within acceptable range according to the guideline you use or the method you selected for your target analyte analysis. As example, in your guideline from 70 up to 120 percentage, in most of food analytes also from 70 up to 120 percentage, in standard method for water from 70 up to 100 30 percentage, 130 percentage. For other analytes, you will find from 80 up to 130 percentage, and you can find less or more. So according to the guideline you use. And during the routine analysis, if you run this sample and you found that the recovery was within the acceptable range, you can say in this case that your work was efficient and you can get accurate and reliable results for other routine samples. But in the real validation, you will assess the efficiency of the method, but under repeatability conditions. Different level of concentrations will be selected based on the specification limit or maximum residual limit of target analytes. First level or the lowest level will be minimum reporting limit or limit of quantitation as I explained in details in the previous lecture. And highest level should be higher than or equal to, but better to be higher than the maximum residual limit or specification limit of target analyte. And also better to have level at the specification limit of target analyte and another level in between low and highest level of target analytes. As here in this example, if the specification limit or maximum residual limit for your target analyte equal to 100 BBP, so different level of concentrations will be selected based on the specification limit. First level or the lowest level, which is the lowest concentration can be quantified in the test sample with accurate result. I have selected 10 BBB. You can select 10 BBB as your minimum reporting limit or limit of quantitation, or you can go for 5 BBB, but you don't need to go for less than 5 BBB to 1 or 0.1 BBB to ensure your competency or your accuracy, because the maximum residual limit or the specification limit is high, 100 BBB, as I explained also in the previous lecture. And then the highest level, 
I selected 200 BBB which is higher than the specification limit and to second level and third level for the third level you can select your specification limit for the target analyte and second level any concentration in between the lowest level and the highest level and for all of these levels you will run a replicate of samples spiked with the selected concentration and for each level you can analyze from 6 to 10 replicates according to the Eurochem guideline or you can follow the guideline you use uh, sometimes according to the standard method for water as example 7 replicates you can follow the guideline you use and for the second level also from 6 to 10 replicates third level from 6 to 10 replicates and for the highest level you will run the replicate of samples spiked with the selected concentrations and you should know that the recovery should be within the acceptable range according to the guideline you use and also relative standard deviation relative standard deviation as i mentioned in the previous lecture which is equal to standard deviation divided by average multiply 200 so relative standard deviation also should be less than 20 percentage in some cases will be different so you should follow the guideline you use so all results should be within the acceptable range related to recovery and relative standard deviation to ensure that the method can analyze target analytes from lowest concentration to the highest concentration with accurate results. Also, you should know that selection of lowest and the highest concentrations will be based on the instrument sensitivity. If the instrument sensitivity increased, so you can quantify the lowest concentration required with accurate results but you may not be able to quantify very high concentrations with accurate result but if the instrument sensitivity decreased so you can quantify the highest concentration required with accurate result but for very low concentrations you may not be able to get accurate results and from the highest level also you will get the saturation point for the instrument for a very high sensitive instruments as i said you may not be able to get to get very high concentrations with accurate result as in this example 200 bbb it may be the saturation point for this instrument which is the point at which response is not related to the area so the selection of the instrument also depend on the target analyte that you want to analyze if the maximum residual limit or specification limit for the target analyte is 100 bbb so the lowest concentration will be 10 bbb and the highest concentration will be 200 bbb so if you have an instrument with moderate sensitivity will give you accurate results for both of them but if the specification limit for target analyte equal to 10 bbb as example so the lowest concentration selected will be 1 bbb or lower than 1 bbb so you need a very high sensitive instrument to analyze this analyte and also for compounds which are prohibited compounds such as chlorum of nicole for these compounds they have a very low minimum performance required limit as example chlorum of nicole equal 2.3 ppb so your instrument should be able to analyze less than 0.3 ppb with accurate result at the end you should have the method and the instrument which are fit for your purpose and fit for your target analytes that was the end of our lecture for today see you in the next lecture inshallah